Waitrose is stopping illegal produce from the settlements in the West Bank. Peru, like Jaffa, plenty of different ranges, the avocados. Here's some more letters from us to you as the manager here. Just explain why we're here, giving you a sense of what you can do as Waitrose to take action on this. So what would you hope that people shopping at Waitrose will do? What we'd really like is for members of the public to realise that they actually have a real positive role to play. They can actually boycott these goods. And we think that, well, we're only individuals, but together when we act holistically, such as the protest today, and even on an individual day-to-day -day basis, we can have a real impact in challenging the occupation on a long-term level. We need to look at the political and economic infrastructure that connects us here in the UK and the settlements and the occupation over in West, the West Bank, over in Israel and over in Palestine. All these peppers I was going to take home from the West Bank? No. And a particular focus today in terms of the boycott, is on the boycott of the illegal settlement goods. Many of these settlements are exporting their produce to supermarkets like Waitrose. And these settlements are Israeli settlements built on illegally occupied Palestinian land in the West Bank. And many of us have been there, we've seen the Palestinian homes and the Palestinian farms which have been dispossessed by the Israelis. Um, I'd, like I'd, I'd, like I'd like to leave. I'd like to leave. We are leaving the building. I'll we are leaving. Take that. I'd like Thank to you leave very the much. building. We will be leaving. Thank you for that. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah, yeah, we do hope to get a response to our letter. Yeah. We have been in contact with Rachel well, already. I'll, I'll, I'll inform my head office. Thank you very much. But um, I'd like to leave the building now. We will be. Thank you for that. Thank you. of Israeli farm, West Bank settlement goods and the mislabeling of 